What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. Continue to support your boy, man. Um, they trying to hey WW3 is coming quicker than people think. Be people. I'm legally blind. POP. Hold it down, nigga. What they talking about? Nigga, ain't none of that. I already know the war is over us, the Hebrew Israelites. I know that, you know what I'm saying, that that Yahweh is trying to protect us, man. Hey, time is time is, is running is running out for them other foreign races and, and, and white people who's not supporting us, man. Time is, is ticking, man. Time is ticking. Y'all better wake up, man. We the Hebrew is like the Jews, man. To the kids, to anybody listening, man. Wake up, man. Time is ticking, man. You, you, you better be on the right side when that time comes. Yahweh and Yeshua, God and Jesus. And he was black. Yahweh and Yeshua. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in the Bible was black. Y'all better be on the right side, gang, because, hey, time is ticking. And we don't want to be falling for all that whitewashing, gang. And all the fake images. Hey man, say man. Come to the black people. It's like keep on fighting, man. We're Yah we're Yahweh's chosen people. And hey, time is near, man. Hey, y'all better get prepared, gang. Look in the sky, man. But we hey, let's get into this bit. Alright. <clears throat> Today, tomorrow freaking day. Straight here on site. Cool. Gang gang, 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 gang. So this is a wild situation, man. I ain't gonna cap, man. Um so this is the thing about, about um, young people and fame and power. You understand, man. And a lot of people don't understand this, man. I don't care if a family was doing a little bit better um, than other people that's black or Hebrew is white. Once a nigga hit that status of millions and millions and millions of millionaire. You in a different ballpark range. You know what I'm saying? It's a struggle, nigga. I don't care if this, if this nigga grew up in the suburbs, nigga. For us to get the bread, nigga. Sometimes niggas don't know how to act. You know what I'm saying? It's just what it is. When you grow up with nothing, or you know what I'm saying, you having a little bit of something that's decent, but you're still not at, at that, that upper level of having a lot of bread or a lot of something, we well, you don't have to have a lot of bread and a lot of something, you know what I'm saying? Just because I say you at the upper level. Because you'll be having nothing and still be at that upper level just spiritually, mentally. You know what I'm saying? You'd be even higher than that, you know what I'm saying? Because some people don't even need that bread. They can be living on the earth just with nothing and, and, and still be a better person than any of these people who's rich as hell. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Money and fame don't make the person. It's what's inside you make you. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm at that level niggas can never reach. Niggas could, could only hope to reach. You know what I'm saying? Spiritually and mentally, they can never reach what a level where I'm in. You know what I'm saying? Humbly. But, hey, these people, you know what I'm saying, you ain't got that much bread, and you get to that point, and it kind of it kind of fucks with you. Because, you, like like I said, you ain't really used to having that. You can do almost anything at that point, you know what I'm saying? You know, they still got racism, and they still got certain rules that and they, don't, they, they don't allow black people to, to, to fully use their money on like the other race does. But you still get a, a higher position than motherfuckers who, not, who don't um, really have that. So, you know... It makes you kind of act kind of crazy. So Rasheed Wallace, was, was Rasheed Rice was. Now they don't even know if this is Rasheed Rice who was driving. So we just gonna say allegedly, Rasheed Rice was driving, and it could have been his friends in a in a in a Lambo in a Corvette and speed racing in Dallas, 
um, Texas and crashed and wrecked like six cars. Now, received rations from um, North, Te North Texas. I don't know where he's from. I live in East Texas, you know what I'm saying? So he probably overshare by, I don't know, El, Pal El Paso or some shit? I don't know where the fuck this nigga from. But other, you know, Dallas is in East Texas. So it's like, you know, I don't know what happened, you know what I'm saying? You know, you get you get to that position, niggas just want to crash out, you know, niggas young. So we got some of the victims. Uh, she, she a black lady. Talk about what happened and how she got crashed and what happens. So, and we got um, um, media personalities talking about what's going on. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let's get to it. For the first time since this terrifying crash, Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver Rasheed Rice is responding amid reports that his car may have been involved. His attorney writing in a statement that Rice is cooperating fully with authorities and will take all necessary steps to address this situation responsibly, adding his thoughts are with everyone impacted. The response comes 48 hours after this six-car crash, caused, police say, by this Lamborghini and Corvette speeding down the expressway. The major accident on the freeway at 6700 block of North Central Expressway northbound. Dramatic dash cam video shows the moment police say the drivers lost control, one car slamming into the center median as the other appears to spin out. Kayla Quinn says she and her four-year-old son were headed home after a day at the zoo when they were among those hit. This could have ended way worse, she wrote on social media. Both cars hitting me, yet me and my baby walked out untouched. Police say all injuries were minor, and the occupants of the Lamborghini and the Corvette all ran from the scene. Moments after the crash, a bystander captured this video. You guys all right? Yeah, okay. Where are you guys heading? You guys all right? Yeah. You guys just gonna leave it? Tonight, the NFL not commenting, but the Chiefs president telling KCMO Talk Radio this. We'll get to the bottom of it. We'll get. We'll gather the facts and then we'll react accordingly. Dallas police are not saying if Rice was involved in the actual crash, and they're asking for the public's help in identifying the men in the video. Lester. Priscilla Thompson. Thank you. We all have heard the news on Chiefs receiver Rashi Rice. He recently was involved in a street race that ended in a crash with four other cars and he ended up fleeing the scene. The witnesses claimed that everyone in the cars that were racing had fled the scene and none of them checked on any of the other cars that were involved. This happened four days ago and finally Rice has responded to the situation he posted on his Instagram. Today I met with Dallas PD investigators regarding Saturday's accident. I take full responsibility for my part in this matter and will continue to cooperate with the necessary authorities. I sincerely apologize to everyone impacted in Saturday's accident. I like that he is showing somewhat of remorse for what he did, but to think that it happened four days ago and he's just now apologizing after fleeing and not checking on anyone is just weird to me. Just makes me think that they were hiding something. I don't know if that is the case. Just nothing adds up. What do you guys think of the situation? Let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video. Dallas PD have made contact with Rashi Rice. About 6.30 p.m. on Saturday, the Chiefs star receiver was reportedly involved in a six-car accident when a Corvette and Lamborghini lost control in Dallas, Texas. The Lamborghini hit the center median wall, lost control, and caused a huge wreck. The Corvette that may have been racing the Lamborghini is reportedly registered to Rice. Multiple people were treated for injuries and two went to the hospital. Dash cam footage shows the wreck unfold and also shows the drivers of both vehicles leave immediately. A witness at the scene reported the men were putting firearms in their bag as they walked away from the scene. Sunday afternoon, while police were still looking for Rice, it was reported that he had retained counsel. And now Dallas PD has made contact with Rice. Dallas PD has not released details of the investigation, but it does appear that Rice was in fact driving the Corvette. It is also being reported that Danny Gray, receiver for the San Francisco 49ers and SMU teammate of Rice, was also involved in the incident. A release on the incident is expected sometime today. The 
Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver Rasheed Rice attorney speaking right now after a crash over the weekend involving uh, several uh, sports ca That's cars crazy. that caused a chain reaction and uh, resulted in the uh, injuries of four hey, people. Let's listen. I don't know what it is with these, these celebrities crashing these high speed cars. Um, in terms of the persons involved in this accident. There's been so many celebrities crashing their cars. Wants to make certain that some Recently. of appreciate it, that he's going to do everything in his power to bring their life back to as normal as possible uh, in terms of injuries, in terms of property damage. And they say he did the skirt on them niggas. Damn, that nigga. Hey, he said, fuck this shit. Hey, I done shit like that. Hit somebody's car. Nigga, I dashed on them niggas. I mean, fuck them. They ain't standing around for no popos. I'm gone, nigga. No what do you think this is? Can ever bring back to a person who has been in an accident uh, the help them get over the memories of being in that accident. Well, I'm gone, nigga. If I get in a car crash, nigga, I'm doing the same damn thing. I'm dipping, nigga. I ain't standing around for that bullshit, nigga. Catch me when you can, nigga. You gotta do your job. Catch me, nigga. What do you think this is, nigga? As relates to answering questions that we can. And depending upon what they do, obviously. It'll go to the Dallas County District Attorney's Office and we'll work through their mouth. Motherfucker, that do their job and find a nigga. What do they think this is? Thank you for asking. That, thank you for asking that question. Uh, during the interview, Mr. Rice acknowledged that he was driving the Lamborghini. That was the question of his answer, and he responded to that. That he was driving the Lamborghini. Mr. Rice, where is he right now, and why is he not here speaking for himself and making those problems? Well, let me say this. In terms of him speaking, he will speak. But again, some of the vitriol that's been going on in the media, which we can understand because that's how it works. Uh, the fact is you've got a 23-year-old young man that's never been in, in this type of situation before. And so you will get an opportunity to hear from him, hopefully within the next week. Why do you take so long for Do you think that's long? Well, I... As a, as a lawyer, some 40 years, recognizing that there's a, some criminal overtones. Number one, he had to get counsel. And then second, the counsel had to get some sort of idea of what was going on. Uh, if you talk with the police department, they will tell you that we, we, as his counsel, reached out to them on Sunday evening. So that's not long at all. And they will also tell you that, that we have, we've had two meetings. So that's not long at all. question that's still being investigated and I can't go into the particulars now but so we will. There is a point where someone was saying their chest hurt. Can you give us a little insight on that? Only insight I can give you now is that there's a continuing investigation and we're working with them on it. Bruh. What happens next is number one. I don't know if, they, is, is, if it's just the cars they sell into these celebrities today. or what? Secondly, we work with I don't know why they race car driving in the middle of the motherfucking road in the first place. That's crazy. Bit. Now with these high speed cars. They think this need for speed and shit. Nigga, Tokyo Drift and shit, nigga. Nigga, these cars are not toys. They, you will crash out, nigga. Look at motherfucking um, Henry Ruggs III, nigga. That nigga killed that bitch. With them fast ass cars. I can barely handle a regular four cylinder car. Number one, to find out how their clients are doing. I mean, the new, you, you've reported in the news that there, was only, there wasn't serious bodily injury associated with this, but we don't know that to be a fact. And so to the extent that we can kind of um, make certain that we understand the seriousness of the injuries, that helps out. But importantly, we've got to... Nigga, I would have dipped three, nigga. Fuck we talking about. Talk Fuck they talking about. Injury. Hell no, nah, nigga. You better catch my ass, nigga. Come on, nigga. Just let me say to you, and many of you know, uh, 
We've been here before. We're going to make certain that we're as transparent as we can about and balancing out his constitutional rights, depending on what happens with this particular case, and also making certain that we take care of the victim's rights. So I can't do that right now. I've got to, we've got to see exactly how this uh, investigation uh, uh, proceeds. Uh, hold on for one second. Will they please give you any sense on their timeline as to when they'll make decisions on if there will be charges, if and when there will be charges, and when they're going to move That nigga skirted, nigga. Who recording this shit? Who recording this shit? I'm sorry. Nigga, I was skirted three, nigga. Who recorded this shit? Oh, the white lady. Of course, the white lady had that shit already out. Yes. <laughs> this is the first some shit happened. Oh, I see high nigga activity. Let me get the camera out. Head ass. But damn, nigga, you can't be speed racing with these fucking high speed cars, nigga. Nigga, they know how hard it is to get to the NFL, nigga. Niggas ain't spoiled and entitled, nigga. Nigga, nigga be having fun, nigga, living life, nigga. Shit happens, nigga. Motherfuckers think that niggas are spoiled and entitled, nigga. No, nigga. The truth, bitch. Niggas be having a hard life, nigga. Get to the, the fucking money on and shit happens. Y'all been having money on a little bit anyway. Bitch, we coming back to our power and shit. By one incident, then that would be ridiculous as opposed to our entire body of work. So I, I'd ask that you, as the media, look at his entire body of work before. Facts, nigga. Exactly Real is. shit. That would be a better. Real I shit. Think, nigga, uh, don't cause nigga for one moment to say his whole know. life like that, nigga. Niggas having fun, crashed out. Fuck you talking about? It to happen. Nigga rich. Uh, Living life. In part, yes, because you're defining him based on this one incident as in terms of, and, and, as opposed to exactly his entire life. Yep. And obviously, you can look at that. He played football at SMU. He's from North Texas. And so we in North Texas specifically. Are you from Texas? Okay. Has, has a great opportunity to make sure the world knows who he is. Is he a thug? Uh, as he has been going around committing murders, rapes, robberies, and things like this? Or is he a young man that found himself in this situation? A young man that found himself in a bad situation? now needs to figure out exactly how he can balance, number one, taking care of the issues associated with the persons that were, were injured, and also making certain that his whole life is not just uh, a turn topsy-turvy, yeah. and he has no future. Nigga, I ain't gonna cap, nigga. I would have dashed three, nigga. I would have, I would have skirted, nigga. Ain't no way you would have found me, nigga. A few days has been to uh, number one, understand as best possible the facts, and I don't, still don't have all of the facts. Okay, make certain that the police department understood that uh, Rashid was not running from anybody, trying to hide from anyone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just, he just forgot about it and Answer fucked up and just, and just left, you know, amnesia. That we prioritize visiting with the families or representatives of the families that were involved in this accident. You know, he got amnesia, man. Hit his head on the damn fucking car, nigga. He forgot where he was at. Thought he had to go to the crib. Exactly. Again, we, we want to be 
very transparent and work very closely with the police department uh, and make sure that representations that we make are accurate representations. And as of yesterday, we were told that there was no police report file. So we now need to get a copy of that police report. Man, if nobody injured me, nobody like seriously injured, nigga. I say, shit, a year, and he fixed this. Not even a year. He 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 probably do community service and just pay these niggas' cars off. The fuck, nigga? And they and they doctor bills. But shit, it is what it is. You know how this shit goes. So he was got he was at a party. That's what happened to uh Henry Ruggs, man. Did, did they tell you? Did they not tell you? Yeah, shut your goofy ass up, bitch. Motherfuckers yeah. mess up, man. But uh, hey, it's all good, man. And then his career also. But if that my car got hit and I'm injured, see, I ain't trying to say, hey, I want, I want my shit paid for, nigga. I want, I want my doctor bill paid for, and I want a new car, nigga. What the fuck we talking about? And, hey, that's it. Fuck, let that nigga go. That made a mistake. I 
how many of you have made a mistake? If you're judged by that mistake that you made, is that fair? But I can tell you this, but for the grace of God, someone could have been injured. I mean, seriously injured. Die. He, that. he appreciates it. That's why he wanted to come out and say that he's going to be responsible for making certain that the victims are made home. Yeah, when my, my car got hit, nigga, shit, I chased the nigga down for my money, y'all. Why not? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, thank you. All right, take care. All right, Rashid Rice, uh, through his attorney, taking responsibility for the weekend uh, crash there. And we heard from the attorney that we would be hearing him, hearing from him directly within the next week as this investigation Damn, is still ongoing. Wow, Rice was wow, Lamborghini bro. that police say was speeding Damn. along with a Corvette on a North Central Expressway. Just on what is Saturday happening, crash, man? I don't know what's going on, man. Why are all our celebrities? And all our people getting injured or and killed, bro. Left the scene or going to jail. Information or what is going on, man? Whether anyone needed medical attention there. So I just couldn't. I don't, I, we ain't gonna listen to all this because she's talking a lot. But this one, the people. Yeah. Walk me through what happened Saturday. So I was. Leaving Fort Worth Zoo, um, me and my family went for the day. Um, I was heading to pick up my oldest son. He just went on a fishing trip with his mentor, probably about three minutes from the location. I ain't going to catch you. It's the um, baddie, though. You did. Next thing you know, I got hit on my left-hand side of my driver door, spun in the highway, um, and kind of blindly decided to move out of the highway to get on the other side of it. Um, it was about five, six cars that was involved in the accident. Um, it was a lot going on. People around, people running away from the scenes. Um, it was a pretty hectic, crazy, and long day. What was going through your head? I was shocked. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm I bet this bitch ain't never say hectic before in her life. I was driving mind of my business, and I was shocked. And I was in disbelief after getting out of my car, seeing what it looked like in the aftermath of it. I was just like, like my baby. I had my son and he was sleeping in the back seat so he was woke up out of his sleep screaming because we just got hit on the left hand side of the door so I was shocked I was grateful um I was upset I was sad I just had a lot of different emotions going on and, and your, your son how old is your son he's four years old so you're driving your four-year-old's in the background in the back seat you know, going down 75 and then just I just boom got hit and then I just was, like I'll just all I hear is a lot of commotion and everyone kind of flew ahead of me because you can kind so of what you gonna do you gonna I press charges ahead. or you're not gonna press um, charges and it was just it was just a lot it was it was a lot overwhelming like scary so you get hit you're you're, you're in your car um in your head you're, you're probably thinking okay we're about to exchange insurance all that right, stuff so right. walk me exactly. through that i'm thinking you know everyone because i see everyone getting out so I, that's what i have that nigga skedaddle bit what was going to happen and we would all stop and they would come and run because mind you i'm on the other side of the highway they would have to cross the highway to get to my car i'm thinking maybe they're gonna run the all the guys that were in the lamborghini that they were gonna run to me Hell no, bitch. Yo, yo. Damn. No one came and checked in on me. Um, <laughs> yeah. How long did it take you to realize that? That bitch said nobody checked in on her. Coming? Oh, it took me like two minutes because they left the scene fast. <laughs> Like it boom boom boom. I kind of seen in the mirror someone get out, out of one of the cars and they just walked away. It they wasn't there that long. Probably like two minutes of the accident. Damn, I, nigga said, nigga, I gotta go, nigga. So then police got there, correct? Poli po fire station got there first. Police got there a little bit after the fire station um got there, but they eventually did come. And then what Damn. The police um, they were just trying to get my information, make sure I was okay. They didn't really too much say anything or they wasn't as helpful as what i thought they would have been and mind you we sat outside but they don't give a fuck about us to 11 30 p.m so we were just sitting on the highway in the car just sitting there damn 
they were maybe give us an update every hour, just trying to, you know, still work. We're just still trying to redo everything and re-everything pictures wise. But they wasn't super, super helpful as much as I feel like they could have been helpful and keep updating us about what Damn. was going on. Damn. But, yeah. At this time, were you aware of who might have been in, in those cars? I had no idea who, no idea who, who, who was in there. The only thing I knew what was maybe in the vehicle was cleats in the back seat, but you know, you could think that's probably them just playing football, you know, just regular football because my children are in the You didn't go through the car seat, they had it, bitch. That would have been the trunk, the side, nigga. Give me a couple of thousand, nigga. Probably have some jewelry, some motherfucking earrings, nigga. Oh, okay. Chains in that okay. bitch. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't know the gravity. Like, yeah, you experienced the accident, yeah. but you didn't know the gravity until you saw the no, video after the fact. Yes. Walk me through watching that video. I was speechless. I was speechless. I, I was sad. I could, I really couldn't stop crying watching the video because that was my first time seeing it. You know, I only felt what happened. I didn't think it was that bad. And seeing how I got hit, it just, it's just traumatizing. And, and you know you're here. You're, you're walking. Yeah, I'm here. I'm blessed. My son is great. I'm really, I'm really just blessed. Like God was with me. It could have been way. It could have been. Like, I'm it really, could have really been blessed. Yeah. So blessed. How does it feel knowing that Rashi Rice still hasn't contacted Dallas police, even though they want to talk to him about this crash? I think it sucks. I mean. I feel like you should go ahead and just come forth and just talk about it. Hell no, nah, nigga. Yeah, what? Uh, Hell no, nah, nigga. I'm on a dash, nigga. Fuck, we talking about. Him to take accountability. Hell no. Nah. I don't keep all real honey with y'all niggas on some real shit, shit, nigga. A lot of people, you know, nigga would have been gone, nigga. You ain't gonna never see me ever again. I want him to apologize publicly and. If a nigga like wasn't famous, man, I bet that nigga would have uh, said they would never know who it make was. Make better decisions, like we understand y'all got fast cars, y'all want to race, you know what I'm saying? But we have to drive for other people. You have to be careful of your surroundings, like. Be so are you gonna send a nigga to jail or not? And when you think about just the fact that they left, you know they. You watch the video. Yeah, they just careless. Like, I feel like y'all are careless. <laughs> careless. Y'all looking in the video saying, yeah, we good. We have to go. But it's like, y'all have no sympathy. Y'all just caused a six-car accident. Don't know one person have no sympathy. No sympathy to check on anybody. Like, careless. Right. Hey. Yeah, they, yeah. Terrible. So your mom was telling me about, um, in the aftermath, your son just shaking. Yeah. And controllably shaking, like control like if he was having a seizure like he my son literally was controlling me shaking for a good hour or so yeah yeah what is it what did he say to you he was just like he's scared you know i'm scared mommy they hit us we want a new car we can't drive i'm really scared mom are you okay are you sad you know but but my son he's still like talking about it like i'm i'm scared mommy i don't want to like i don't want to get in the car i don't want to drive and you know i suffer from anxiety um i had an accident like years ago when i was pregnant with my first son and i spun in the middle of the highway so i kind of already have anxiety from driving so it's like with this and it's happening from behind me it just kind of like triggers it more you know what i'm saying it triggers it more it's like i don't even want to like i don't even want to drive like i don't even i just want to be in my home like <laughs> like it's like i don't even want to drive no that's how bad it is because like looking at that video we're just like what the heck what about the damage to your car tell me about that my car is total damn everything is ruined broken but it's bad like none if really rashi bad. wallace dropped the uh 10 the 30k like, for a new whip i bet she a two vehicles the side in the back of me put up 40k for a new whip but they had about six people flip. new cars six. my car didn't flip over i could have flipped over you know what i'm saying it just could have been really really bad so you have a GoFundMe up now? I do have a GoFundMe up, correct. Um, I just have it up there. I'm just pretty much telling my story. I am a single mom of two kids. I'm two boys. I have a seven-year-old and four-year-old. Um, if I'm Rasheed Wallace, nigga, out there, just so you know, they find a nigga, I'm paying for that, for that car to get fixed. Drive, Especially out the money on for it. New car, fuck it. Sports, Insurance, whatever. Fuck. In, so get out of my paint. Get out of my mind. You know what I'm saying? That medical yeah. bills that we have to take care of as well. I would pay for all that. Um, and if you can donate, please share the link. Because I wouldn't want this interview out, to be honest. Yeah, if I was with Shreve Wallace, I would have hit that man. Right? I did, I nigga, wait, what? They would have found out who did it. You know, make sure Paying no for the car and the insurance, like nigga. And your medical bills, nigga. Body, all that getting paid for. All the cars getting paid about new cars. And I'm disappearing, nigga. Everything on my left-hand side hurts. 
But that's the, unless they tell, but they still can send niggas to jail. Do he do all that shit? Getting hit, and I think because my adrenaline was rushing during that that day, and you know I was more so worried about my son than worried about me. I didn't really feel anything, but me sleeping and like waking up the next morning, I was like, oh, like I'm in pain, like I'm hurting, I'm in pain. I was at the hospital for about three, three or four hours. Back. So what's wrong with you? Um, as well. Tell me about your leading up to the crash. So you were telling me you went, to, you guys went to the zoo. She yeah. found that nigga was a millionaire. She said, "I gotta go to the hospital." We spent all day at the zoo, literally. Opened the clothes, was at the zoo all day, just having a good time. And I'm just going to pick up my baby because he first mentor trip with his my friend. He went fishing. I thought I was gonna be able to. I'm pick glad him you're up. okay now though. You know, home, niggas, go niggas do be dying eat, from you know, car accidents. Enjoy the rest of it. So I started because it was before Easter, and it's just like my day went from great to terrible. Literally went from great to terrible in a matter of like in thirty minutes of driving. Like, yeah, yeah. So we know there's these videos and, and pictures of the guys that were in the two cars. Dallas police say right now they still don't have something concrete that puts Rashi Rice correct in that car. Mm -hmm. They know that it is registered to him correct, and they know that his, some of his belongings were in that car, but they they can't say for sure that he was driving or in it. Okay. How does that like with all that swarming around? What do, what are your thoughts on that? Damn. I feel like if he wasn't driving, she can't pinpoint because they don't know for sure. But I mean, I feel like with everything that's going on, I mean, if you look at the pictures and you compare pictures on social media, you can kind of see that it resembles him, or maybe he got a twin or something that we don't know about. But you can most definitely tell in all of the clips, yes, ma'am. And then you know, with that in mind, if it wasn't him, but it, I mean, it's your car that was involved right. in this wreck. Why? Why haven't you? Exactly. Now, if it wasn't him and maybe, you know, he has friends or someone driving it, it's still like, okay, why? If that wasn't me driving, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay for that shit either, though. But if that was know, me driving, man, I would have eventually. Speak about it. Hey, shit, I don't care. Why hasn't anybody taken accountability of us of what had happened? Because you can send, you still send a nigga to jail. How deep it is. Like, you still have to own Niggas ain't trying to go to prison and lose their whole football career. What the fuck we talking about? Y'all not kids. Take accountability. Sound good. IRS e file is open. If he sees this, what would you want him to know? I just want you to do better, make better decisions. We know you got a fast car, y'all. We know y'all that y'all don't have to race. Apologize, please. Like someone could have been seriously hurt, injured. If you go and you've seen the video, which I'm sure you have seen the videos, you've seen how bad I got hit. The impact is tear like it's crazy. So I just want you to take accountability. Confess up, take accountability. Or if it wasn't you, maybe someone else. Everyone should take accountability. Apologize. I want an apology because there was shown no remorse, no sympathy. I want an apology. Yeah, the fact that there was no remorse, no sympathy. How does that make you feel? It. I don't know. I feel like someone that's well known and people that look up to you have kids that look up to you. Older people that look up to you, all these people is just like I. I don't really feel no way. But y'all know how many niggas play GTA, like, nigga. I'm hey, this happened all the time in GTA. These niggas, these kids was. already know what's going on. Just like you're a grown man. Yeah. The situation in general, how does it make you feel? Angry. It just make me feel mad, upset, because I was minding my business. It is just the fact that it was so many people involved and not one person stopped. That's just the thing for me, because like, how can nobody? Not stop to check. Nigga, it's gone, bro. You gotta understand, nigga. You gotta understand, man. Nigga would have stayed around and got shot. Who knows, nigga? I, I'm just angry about the situation. I'm blessed, and I'm trying not to be upset about it because God spared our lives. But at the same time, you know, I'm human. I, I have a choice to be have my feelings. I'm just still upset about it. And now it's been three days, and no one has heard, you know, confirmed or anything. It's just kind of like, okay, how long are we gonna drag it? <laughs> What are you going to come up with to where you can back up and save you? Like, what, what, are we, what are we doing? And you've been pretty vocal on social media. What, what kind of responses have you been getting from people as uh, they read your story? Yeah, they were just, everyone just seemed agreeing with me, like, glad that you're okay. How they were saying I got the worst end of it. You know, they're very grateful that I'm alive because it could have ended worse. But I'm getting everyone's a lot of support um, for everyone just ignoring the negativity because there are ignorant people here. But a lot of people has been very supportive, even people that I have no clue who they are. You know, it's from all my social media platforms. They've been very supportive and willing to help. For the people that are at home watching this, is there anything specific that you want them to know? No. Just drive for everyone else. I guess now when you're driving, make sure y'all look at all y'all windows. 
That's all I would have to say. Also, uh, Ocho, Dallas police is seeking Rasheed Rice in connection with a major ac accident. Dallas police are searching for Rasheed Rice after a vehicle registered or leased to him was involved in a six-car accident. A Chevrolet Corvette and a Lamborghini was racing in the far left lane when Crazy. both drivers lost control. Mm. The Lamborghini went onto the shoulder, hit the center median, causing a chain reaction collision involving four other vehicles. Photos and video showed the occupants of the two vehicles leaving the scene immediately after the crash. Boy, it's good, good. Anderson is reporting that Rasheed Rice has retained counsel. A statement from the attorney is expected tomorrow. Wait, so the photos leaving the crash. There's a video of two guys getting out of the car that was involved in the car, and they're getting out of the car walking away. Wait, so oh, it wasn't Mr. It wasn't Mr. Rice though. So his his friend, maybe... the, the, the the Corvette, was registered or leased to him. Ah, the occupant okay. in the driver's side of the Corvette got out the vehicle and left. The guy that was in the Lamborghini got out and left. Right. We don't know. But he has retained counsel. Retained counsel. Talk a lawyer. Me. Okay. Damn it. I don't know, man. We, 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 there are enough examples for us young folks. No, it's not. Ocho. Ocho, there are you, examples. Oh, Ocho when you try to, when we try to tell them. We hating. Let that man live his life. Shannon, you done lived your life. Let yeah. that man live his life. You see, Ocho, a wise man will learn from others' mistakes. Yeah. A fool must learn from his own. Did you not just see Henry Ruggs get yes. 11 years? Yeah, Henry Ruggs didn't get that 11 piece. Know. But these are like Go ahead, two years or five Again, years. Hey, listen, there's something about when you're with your friends, you're young, yep. just getting to the NFL, coming yep. off Super Bowl champion. You're feeling invincible. You're on top of the world. Then you make mistakes like this. Having fun with your people at their speed, knowing you ain't supposed to be racing. Well, you know what? I, it's probably not going to happen to me. There have been other examples of players getting in trouble, speeding, having fun. You know, you're out having a good time. It's the off season. But come on, young bull. Yeah. Young bull, you got to be smarter than that. Yes, yeah, fuck the angle cap. Be smarter. Matter of fact, yeah. the people around you got to be smarter than that. Facts. Yes. you the golden ticket. They got to protect you yes. at all times. From yourself. If you got, if you got yeah. the right people around you, they wouldn't be allowing you to do what you about I ain't okay. I ain't like what he, they were doing was right, because the shit, they fucked you up. You the breadwinner. You the one. Yeah. So you got to have somebody in your circle. They got to keep order. They got to right. keep order at all times. You know? A or woman, you got to change or you got to change your friends, one or the other. Oh, Joe, it was reported that a woman was injured in the crash. Oh, whoa, I, oh, somebody got hurt? A woman was injured in the crash. Why did we just talk the about man, it? Put a four year son, four year old son in danger and walked away with sympathy. But he's not injured, injured. Sympathy. We've only seen footage of three people getting out of the Lamborghini. How the hell you get three people in a Lamborghini? Was it a Lamborghini? It must have been a Lamborghini truck. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah the Urus. It was, it was a truck. Uh, I was going to say, ain't no way. How yeah. the hell you get. Who's sitting on somebody lamp in a Lambo, Ojo? Yeah, you're right. You're right. I, uh, the footage hadn't surfaced of who exits the Corvette. But the Corvette is leased. Or registered to a Rasheed Rice. Yeah. Damn. So, so, I mean, obviously, he hasn't been spotted at the scene. And the pictures, obviously, there are cameras everywhere now. So he wasn't even spotted. He's Let still responsible because somebody you're going to get an attorney, you're going to get, a, you, you're going to get an attorney tomorrow? Huh? you going to get an attorney tomorrow? Yeah, because if it, if, if the car... No, 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 if, don't do no hypotheticals. Yeah, I ask you a simple question. Most Are you going to retain a lawyer Most tomorrow? The, the car in my name, yeah. Me? Are you just speaking hypothetically? Is Ocho Cinco going to retain the services of an attorney tomorrow? No, sir. Huh? Why not? Well, shit, I ain't do shit wrong. <laughs> Hell no, nah, my name on hey, in my name well, on the car. I ain't do nothing wrong, but I'm saying, listen. In my know, name on the car, hell the yeah. Better than I do. If someone is driving your car and the car is registered in your hell name, yeah. even if you're not present yeah. at the scene, you most definitely want you're one. still responsible because it's your car, it's right? Your car. Yeah, the insurance company will probably they'll probably sue your insurance company. Okay, they hold might on. put you as blame. Sue the individual. Well, hold on, but here's the thing. Do you have, do you, first of all, now you can get insurance where only you can drive or you can have insurance where you can have additional drivers. But still, it's policy. still in your name. Does he have a policy that has additional drivers? It's still in your name. It don't matter. Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay. It's still so in your I'm name, though. him retaining a lawyer has to do for the fact, again, I don't know. I can't say anything. 
because I don't know if he was at the scene or not. I don't know if he's been driving or not. For the pictures that have come out, no one has said that he was one of the drivers because obviously would have been seen clear as day with them, you know, leave, leaving. So he not, so he didn't, they don't even know if he drove think, it. You know, you know what people going to do? Yeah. If you, if you out with your homeboys and y'all get in the fight and everybody fighting, there's only one person that's going to make the news. Then they will yeah, be caught. They don't know about the underdog. They, 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 they say Every they ain't about that Lamborghini who it was blown to or nothing. Yeah. They say the Corvette was registered or leased to Rasheed Wright. Mm. He's the name. I just, oh, oh, oh Joe, like I said, I think there's enough stories now yeah. of guys. I mean, because especially with social media. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, with you and I, we didn't have the social media. We would, we probably heard stories, but right. after the fact. Mm-hmm. After it already but, happened. Right. But yeah. for me, once I saw Derek Thomas, and Derek Thomas and I, you know, we had our, had our run in. But prior to that, DT and I were great. I mean, we worked out together. We partied together. Mm-hmm. We did a lot of stuff together, and we had a, we had a, an incident that was a uh, 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 very very unfortunate. Mm-hmm. But when he got thrown from that vehicle because he wasn't wearing a seatbelt, right? Mm. I immediately started wearing my seatbelt because somebody that I knew. Because a lot of times when you see people, when people got thrown from the car, mm-hmm. nobody I had ever known had gotten into an accident and gotten thrown from the car. Right? That couldn't happen to me. Well, DT, I know DT. I work out with DT. Right. We hang out. We party. We go to Pro Bowls together. We're on the all-pro team together. Mm-hmm. What you mean that happened to somebody I know so close? That means it could happen to me. Yeah. Let me but let me fasten my seatbelt. Listen, it's different, huh? I'm telling you, you uh, is it's you know the mentality I'm talking about. When you get money, when you when things are going really well in life. You damn near feel invincible, and you, you do. You, yep. you feel like you, do. you can get away with any and everything. Yep. People, yep. women that are watching that are in the chat, think about how you that feeling you had when you got your hair and your nails done. Yep. Ah! <laughs> Listen, no, you bunk, you laughing. I'm serious. And Real you talk. All the money in your pocket. You Real talk. To go some that came out of the shower. Real talk. Nigga, niggas ain't never had money that like that. Three. When it comes yeah, to NFL yeah. players that are millionaires, you know, that yep. are friends that are that are going out places. You 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 kind of lose a sense of self and a sense, yeah, especially you when you got the yeah. wrong people around you, yep. allowing you to do some of the things you're doing. Yep. Now, yeah. boom! If you got your home, if your homeboys know that the car's in your name, why in the hell are you even speeding on the highway? Whether I can't even chance it. or not, I can't. I can't. Not. I can't chance it, though. You can't chance it because yeah. you're responsible for that vehicle yeah. because it's in your name. You let somebody. Mm-hmm. Somebody. It's just like anything. Oh, Joe, you let somebody borrow your gun. Yeah. And they shoot somebody. Who who responsible for that? They got the na- name on the gun. Okay. Well, I'm you gonna say find the fingerprints. Somebody your car, and they 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 do something to somebody. They run a red light or they hit somebody. He's still gonna be gonna involved be on, the, on the car. And so, I, your car. And, I, and I get it, but you know, hey, hey, bro, you need to go rent you a car. I can't let you drive. I can't let you drive mine because first of all, if you wreck it, you can't re- you can't afford to repair it. You can't you can't repair it. And and most of the time, it's always these are most of the time it's childhood friends. Yes. Yeah. Having people that you grew up with yeah. all your life. But again, they got to understand. You got to get to a point. Somebody got to be the common sense. Somebody got to restore order. Got to be the responsible one. Somebody got to be the responsible one. Because everybody can't turn up. Everybody can't want to have fun. Everybody yeah. can't want to live up. Oh, look, my homeboy made it. So we all made it. Yeah. Somebody got to have the common sense. It can't be turned up all the goddamn time. Yeah. Man, don't 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 get me started. Right now, Ocho, we've only seen footage of three people exiting the Lamborghini. Right. We have not seen video of anyone exiting the Corvette. Now, I don't know. Do they have is, is the Corvette like a Tesla that do automatic driving? They can have no, you know, because sometimes the Tesla you can have it go without a driver being in sight. Now, I don't know if they, they have that feature on the Corvette, mm-hmm. but a car registered to him, it could not have been him. But I just wish these, I wish, like I said, I understand, like you said, Ocho, because like when we come up, we're able to do things that we never that people in our do. grade of people above us mm-hmm. aren't able to do. So you actually think that you are invincible because, well, if, if everybody could do what I do, why aren't they doing it? Doing it, right. So now, Ocho, guess what happens if I get a little money in my pocket? Boy, it's different. Yep. It's different. What? Yep. It's different. Yep. Yeah, you really, you really, yes, really? Yep. we have all done some things, and you know, I, Ocho, I, I remember I would have done things, and I sit back, I'm like, what 
the hell was I thinking? Right, right. I'm, I'm, I'm Starlin Sharp's brother. Mm-hmm. Forget now, Ocho. Forget me. I, right, right. Bro, if this happened, the first thing they're gonna say, Green Bay Packer All Pro receiver's brother, Shannon Sharp. That's when they're gonna start. They ain't gonna say Shannon Sharp. The brother, they're going to say Green Bay Packers all-pro wide receiver Sterling Sharp's brother, Shannon, was involved in X, Y, and Z. That's why it's so important. The people you keep around you. The people you, I'm, I'm thinking about my day. Obviously, you know, I'm, I'm from Liberty City. I think about my day. It was structured and they were disciplined for those that didn't play the game of football. You know what side of the track they come from. So you already know how they're moving. They have an understanding. Well, that's that's the asset. We have to protect that at all times. Yeah. So there's certain shit. Even if I want to do, man, them, man, them boys ain't they not play, they not having that. Just in general, mm-hmm. they thinking the way I'm not thinking, and they ain't even the one that's in the league. Yep, man, Shaw, go ahead and get your ass home. Go home. That's the type of people you're <laughs> supposed to have in your corner. Them the because... type of people you're supposed to have around you. Them the type of people you let hold your car because you know. I'm going to let him hold my Corvette. I'm going to let him hold my Lamborghini because I know he's going to be responsible. He ain't going to be on goddamn I-95 going 130 miles an hour trying to show off. Man. You can never Ocho. Man, T.D., let me tell you. Uh, no, nah, nah, hell no. Nah. Man, you know I had those big body bins. White, big chrome, 22-inch rims sitting on them things. 22s? T.D. come to... Huh? 22s? Yeah, I had a thing. Nice. It was damn. nice. Wait, wait, I had wait. A, it was thing with nice, Ocho. Wait, hold on. So, Chidi, you, had, you had white interior. Nah, I had uh, I had I had ash gray. Okay, 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 okay. All my cars always got you know murder by tent. Okay. So, TD come to town. TD TD stay TD stay with me. Yeah. Hey 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 hey, Shaw, let me hold the wheel. Man, you know that's TD. Oh, he can get it. He good. Yeah. He you know, hey, Super, Super Bowl it. MVP. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he. This joke would go to Nicky. Got the, got my ride back then. Yeah, Sharp, I saw you back getting over at the strip joint on Stewart Avenue. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. I like TD. TD at a strip club. Back then. <laughs> I'm like, bro. I said, TD. TD, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm like, God damn, you. How you gonna. I said, now, come on now. Now, see, you know I don't go to places like that. And right. you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking he's going, you know, he done got my whip back then. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Hold up, thought... Frank, he ain't even try to hide. He's front and center. Front and center. <laughs> God, you know, he, you know what you call him, man. Like, he done, he done gave the boys a couple of dollars. They got him up front. Hey, because right. you know you go to Valley, hey, you want me to keep you up front? Right. Yeah, yeah put yeah, your yeah, boy yeah. up front. Yeah. I'm yeah. back. They done got me back then. He was, hey, man, shop, I saw you at, over there on uh, uh, niggas on Stewart. Right. But you, listen, boy, you, you know how it feel. Again, that feeling, having money, you got your hair cut, you, you got that outfit. And they, lady, ladies can attest to this because when, um, when they get their hair done, when they get their hair and their nails done, they got that makeup on, they got them lashes, they got the mink, yeah. mink classic volume hybrid. I'm not sure what type of lashes. You know, some people aren't as fortunate enough. I had the money to put them strips in, them strips lashes from Walgreens. Yeah, but when you got the outfit on, it's time to go out with your girls. And you got and you got $100. Yeah. Women don't need much. No. They don't need much because, you know, the, the if men... If you bad, you don't need no money. Man, they feel you, invincible. They you feel, bad, you don't need no feel, money. Good-looking women ain't, buy, ain't bought one drink, ain't buying no all. drink. At hey, all. Hey, after the club, they're going to go get free meals. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm just see. trying to get them to understand that in, that invincible feeling mm-hmm. where, yeah, I'm... And it, just and, think, and about women, that, y'all, t- think about that times 10... When it comes to some of these young dudes that are, that, that are going to make some mistakes, they're, they're going to make some mistakes, but you, you want to limit those. And the, the way you can limit those is for one, making the right decisions and then also having the right people around you. The right people yeah. around you can stop you from doing a lot of dumb shit. Well, you know, they don't got, excuse me, they don't got them bundles. They don't went over to that shop. You know, they got that, you know, they don't got them bundles. You know what, what I'm they saying? got? They got them on? bundles. You know, they, they don't got them, you know, good wig, good wig gonna sit you back by four, five, four. When the front legs gonna oh, yeah. back by folks and, and we we ain't just getting no any wig. Yeah. We, we getting we getting we getting wigs from Arrogant Tate. We getting wigs from Lonzo. Like I'm talking about that good mm. shit. That yeah. good shit that last. So when you take it off, you put it on a little mannequin. And you yeah, you put it, it on the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put it on the little head. He got yeah. his own little head. That yeah. wig got, got his name. Yeah, Someone that's that. Someone got his name. That's Veronica. Yeah. And that, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That, that's them good wigs. Yeah, for sure. 
You, hey, you better not throw that wig up on the dresser. <laughs> they got about four. They got about four or five heads up in there, and all of them got wig. You go to like, the yeah. Who is that? Oh, you know, they go to like, that's my man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, hey, but women, let me give y'all some advice. You know, hey. I look to each his own. Hey, I ain't got no problem with no front legs, no bundles, no nothing. Mm-hmm. But y'all doing too much with the eyelashes. Y'all got the eyelashes out here looking like Mr. Snuffleupagus. Oh, you remember, what? you remember Mr. Snuffleupagus? Boy, got eyelashes. Uh, Sesame Street, long eyelashes. Yeah, yes. yes. Listen, I think ladies, they can't even hold their eyes open. Don't y'all? They try to hold their eyes open and uh, close down because the lashes so heavy. Listen, I don't, I don't know what I don't know what they do. You know, I'm obviously um, there's as a side hustle for me. In a way, I, I don't. I'm, I don't, I don't mean to go off topic, but a way for me to save money during, during my dating life, I always found a way to eliminate some of, some of my expenses when I was dating the women. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm shifting into this because it goes to the fact that, you know, I do lashes. I do my kids lashes. I do the eyebrows, hair. I can, I can do makeup. I can do all this stuff. So when we talk about lashes and I see women with long lashes that don't fit yeah. the face and I'm like, mama, like you, you don't, you don't need to have. 18, 19, 21, 21 inch lashes in your face, and you know you you so petite, it just don't look right. You yeah, look like, yeah oh, exactly. How the other bit had. Who yeah. was just and, talking before this? I, I think it's more so the look, you know, and based on what what image you're trying to portray at the I time. Don't know what it's... All right, back, gang. So y'all see from that? Now, how do I see about this, man? Was it reckless? Most definitely. I'm gonna keep it already 100. Trill with your ass. Nigga, I ain't turning myself in. I done been in car wrecks before. Not like bad car wrecks, like that. That's total. Like, you, you can't drive that bitch. But I done hit a car before and left a bit in that car, nigga. I'm not st- I'm not stopping, nigga. I'm towing my car and getting the fuck out the, out the paint. If I can. You know what I'm saying? That's just like off a of hood nigga mentality. You know what I'm saying? We're hood niggas. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Fuck that shit, you know what I'm saying? It's what it is, but I'm glad nobody got injured, you feel what I'm saying? But I done been in a situation where niggas hit my car. Nigga, I'm not finna call 12, nigga. I'm finna chase them niggas down and get my bread. And that's what I did before. I, a group of Mexicans, I was in Austin, they came and hit my back of my car. I'm like, what the fuck? Traffic's horrible. Traffic's horrible in Austin. So, these motherfuckers thought shit was sweet. I was like, hold on, move your car down. What the fuck going on, nigga? I, dropped, I, I followed him for 15 minutes straight, met them at a spot, and got my bread. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes, nigga, you gotta be aggressive, nigga. I don't know why he thought the poli- police was gonna be all helpful. You already know 12 don't fuck with us like that, nigga. They don't fuck with us, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you, you, you speaking real clear, and you a dominant female, and then you, you're confident. They uh, most definitely don't fuck with us, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you when you're a man, black Hebrew is like man, or black Hebrew is like female, and you're confident into what happened in that situation and you and you and you speak well, nigga, they don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Troy don't give a fuck. I'm surprised y'all on that little station and they talked about it. But you know, hope they try to say that Rasheed Rice wasn't even driving. Hey, whoever take that charge is a real nigga. I ain't gonna cap. Whoever take that down charge for Rasheed Rice. Real nigga, cause at the end of the day, nigga, you gotta understand. Rasheed Rice, he can make that bread. He can eventually get you out if you're a real nigga. Cause some of your, some of these niggas say they'll take the charge. Some of these niggas say you take the charge from me, I get you out. Nigga, they don't say they don't talk to you ever again. Nigga, you gonna be in jail for your life. But it's some real niggas out there too. You get locked up, they have to bail you back out. You gotta understand. Who really making them the bread, man? Ain't nobody die. Y'all just fucked up some cars. If I'm Rasheed Rice and, and situation like that. Somebody take the charge. I'm paying for that car. I'm paying for all them cars. I make sure all the people are okay. I'm paying for the doctor bill. Just to get out of my, out of my life. You know what I'm saying? Because me spending that little bread to help them out. Then what you could eventually make in your 30 to 20 years. Even though we live in the end times. But 20, 20 to 30 years of living uh, in, the, in the football. If you're only injured. It's way more. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just got to shut it out and, and keep it moving. But some niggas don't want to um take that acceptance because they make him like a bad person. They might trade that nigga. And but you know, say he won the ring with the Kansas City Chiefs. I just feel bad for the situation, man, because I always like that, man. That's what happened to Henry Ruggs, man. He was partying with his people. Nigga got drunk. Nigga was on a high speed chase. I mean, not high speed um 
driving and nigga just hit a car. Unfortunately, in this situation, the female died and the dog died. And that nigga in jail for like, I think he like in jail for like five years, two years. So hopefully, Rasheed Rice don't have to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? Especially if he wasn't driving. They said it was a rental. Now they tried to say that, um, that his friend was having it. So I feel like, man, hey, me being a hood nigga, I, from a hood nigga's perspective, I'm dipping. You gotta do your job and find me, nigga. Facts, nigga. And if everything's straightened out, then, hey, might say my bad. Nigga, like, hey, you understand, man. Nigga, if he would have waited, who knows what the proposal would have been thinking? They might shoot a nigga. You know what I'm saying? They might shoot a nigga waiting that damn long. You know what I'm saying? For the toy to come, they might shoot you and the nigga who hit your car. We don't know what these motherfuckers, these niggas are psychos. Popos are psychos. They work, they work for the KKK. They psychos, man. They do whatever they want. You know what I'm saying? They kill anybody and get away with it. The government work, the government hide all the secrets of the, of the popos killing niggas and and, 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 and and put our shit on the main line. You know what I'm saying? We gotta stand, nigga. We stayed long enough in that scene, nigga. They would've killed us. They would've said that nigga drunk, he made the wrong move, and you know what I'm saying? We can't take the chances. I would've did three, nigga. I ain't gonna cap. But, um, I'm glad everybody okay, man, because, you know, she said she went to the doctor. Of course she, of course. My back injury, he's a million dollar, he, she hit that. She said, wait, what? He's a million dollar um, football player. He just won a Super Bowl? My back hurt. My back hurt and my leg hurt. My back and my leg. My back and my leg. I need 158,000. Nigga, what? She hit that. My back, my leg, my back and my leg. I need a hundred and fifty. I'll settle with ten dollars and two packs of beer. Fuck, we talking about, nigga? She, hey, I would hit the same thing. Somebody hit my fucking car, nigga. My back, nigga. But I went. I don't know, you know. But, but the twelve would have pulled up anyway. So I, I wouldn't have a snitch of who you know what I'm saying. But at the situation, man, and my car total, nigga, I can't move my car. It's total. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Unless I leave my car behind three. You dig what I'm saying? But the situation at this time, man, you can't press charges. Hope she don't press charges. And Rasheed Rice, he just pay us the shit and, and, and get it out the paint if he had anything to do with it, man. Because having court fees and lawyer fees with, with, with um, all this shit that's going on and you, you street racing don't look good. You feel what I'm saying? So I just hope that uh, they figure out what next going on in this situation. I think she might be the only one who really spoke out. You know what I'm saying? She looked like a Dallas bitch. I ain't gonna cap. She looked like one of them Dallas bitches. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna cap. She looked kind of good, but she looked like she looked like one of them Dallas bitches. I ain't gonna cap. Um, but yeah, man, I understand what Shane Sharp and Ocho Cinco was saying, man. But you feel me? Hey, we got we got re realize yeah, we do fuck up, and we understand, man. That nigga still young. He's 23. Nigga, niggas be young, man. Niggas be living their life sometimes, and, they, and shit happens, man. So. Hopefully, um, even if he wasn't young, you know, niggas, hey, niggas living life, man. Niggas get to that moment and shit, shit happens, man. Especially when you ain't never had nothing, then you get some shit. Or if you did have some shit, but niggas ain't never had that type of shit. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, man, we just got to stay careful out here, man, because, you know, they always looking for, for um, excuses to, um, to get us caught up. You feel what I'm saying? And to, to try to take us out. So we can't really just go on a jump, uh, like, oh, yeah, take a nigga out. You know what I'm saying? But nah, we can't do that because, you know what I'm saying, of course they want us out because, you know what I'm saying, they can do whatever they want. So at the end of the day, man, Rasheed Rice, man, he just got to really, if he had anything to do with it, just, just hey, to tell people, because he said he's supposed to be um, talking to, talk to the, the press about what's happening. So hopefully he had a story down pat. He telling people what really happened. And shit, and beat that damn case because niggas ain't got time for that shit, man. Especially when you want a Super Bowl, motherfuckers look up to try to take you out. You look like a look like a steak right now. Niggas ready to take your ass out. So hey, man, hypocrites lights, man. They gotta stay smart, man. Stay away from the traps, man. They want us dead and gone at any, all costs. It don't matter who you is, what you look like. It don't matter. So hey, man, see me. Hope y'all enjoy these videos and out the bit good and outside clear. Hey, Dad, you know that when we link up, that this shit be legendary. You know this is instrumental, you the engineer on it, so pull that everywhere.